system to be able to separate all of them and be able to get them easier. So when somebody says, oh, I want the, the one with the bigger dots. Hey guys, welcome to Predatory Fins. We had this crazy shipment this right here behind you. All these boxes are empty. We just finished unpacking, unloading everything. Um, I'm gonna show you everything we have in stock now and um, a little bit of what we did with that Stingray tank that's actually cloudy right now. So come on in. It's a little bit loud in here, as you all know. You're gonna be the one cleaning that mess outside. I'm not doing that. For the Stingray tank, what we did, we got a bunch of Stingrays and we made this little system to be able to separate all of them and be able to get them easier. So when somebody says, oh, I want the, the one with the bigger dots, you know, it's easier for us to get them out than if they're in a tank. Keeps them safer too. Yeah. It's actually easier for us to see if they're healthy, if they're well fed. Um, I actually really like this system. We're going to put two more in here so we have two extra spots. And in the future, when these rays are breathing a lot, I want to have more of these. Maybe like, you know, square, just around this pond, just with a bunch of baby rays. It would be perfect. But one other fish that we got, and I want to show you, is this guy right here. It's a Chinese perch. I'm going to see if I can pull one out. So you can see, meanwhile, if you want to just show them the big tank a little bit. Let's take a look over here. See our usual, usual guys. that is this guy must be like 12 13 inches Chinese perch really cool fish uh, uh, damn. they what? prefer that's all I do is get wet you know oh. fish wet uh, they prefer cold water but I actually had them in this tank when the water was 80 degrees and uh, all you need is a lot of oxygen to make sure that they will, will survive. But if you come to this side, we actually got to do another water We're still working on the sump and I'll make a video about that when we're all done. I just built this little system real quick just to see if it worked. This is a sand filter that we have inside of a sump. And we also have K3 media moving around. So the idea is to have all the filtration in here and uh, we got these, what are they, pato plants? Pato. I believe they're called pato plants. So the water drains through here, goes into the filter beds, through all the bio balls and all the fresh coral and lava rock, goes back up this way, goes to the plants, and then goes to the movable media, sand filter, by the deck, rocks, back into the tank. I believe this filtration is going to be enough for all these rays. Uh, we just got to maintain. But, alright, let's get into the fish. We just got a bunch of these guys in. They're um, polypters. Really big ones. Do you remember what um, name they had on these guys? Mm -hmm. I got to look it up. But I'll put the we'll name. Put them on the yeah, side. I'll put the name under. Um, we got a bunch of, uh, we didn't really ask for them, but we got a bunch of little African cichlids. Different colors. Colorful. Yeah, we got to make sure we do a water change here. This tank we have a lot of uh, little yellow parrots. Can you see them? Look. They're about, I would say two and a half inches right now. Over here we have uh, 13. 13 to 14 inch black arowanas. Usually 
Beautiful. Got a couple more rays here, a little bit of more Toros. On this side here, we have the Vulture Cats. I think we've got about 10 left. Now these guys, I know we have the Ornit, the Telgelzi, and there's one that came in yesterday. I want to see if you can see this guy right here. I want to look at the, I'll put the description of the name under to make sure it is what I'm thinking, but I've never seen them before. I really want to see what they look like when they're big, but this is definitely one that I haven't seen before. Uh, over on the side, we have blue and gold machines. We got two golden climbing perch. I might keep these two guys, but I can order more. Iridescent sharks. Hard to see. All right. We got a couple. They look like a salmon collar. I don't know if you can see if you're on camera. But they are Oscars, obviously. We have some sleeper gobies. Baby Jardini's here on top. Albino Asian red tails. Oh, that's one guy over there that they make. Gotta get him out. And uh, a couple more of African cichlids. Uh, different species, I guess. The orange one is really cool. I don't really mess with them, but it was just a trial to see. These guys are nice. I like them a lot. Their colors are really neat. We have albino gouramis. Platinum koi. Longfin koi and uh, the barbs, albino barbs, and this thing over here. We have the gunch. We got two species of gunch. We got the suchuzo back there, about 12, 13 inches, and then we have the yareli down here. I mean, you might be better coming right here. So I'll put them up on the website. I'll put the name on there as well. Over here we have the bumblebee catfish. And guys, we just got this new camera, so be patient. Lisa's learning how to mess with the it's camera. Not You're doing a good job. <laughs> High five. Hey. Well, oh. I was, well, there you go. There you go. Uh, jelly catfish. We got a couple big ones back there. They're all crawled out. Can you see them or no? Your hand, move your hand, baby. Alright. On this side. Oh, flower ones. That's a really nice flower one. Look at the size of this guy. I want to try to get him out. You want to put the lens right on it, and then you won't see the reflection. But, it's pretty big. Buddy. Look how big it is. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. The colors are amazing. And on the light, we were really shining really good. There's two about that size, and I like this one a lot too. It tries to bite all the time. Don't bite me, bro. He's spicy. Yeah, look. Push Come here. Now you relax, huh? Look at the colors of him. See it? Not really. Yeah, that's fine. Get it close. And over here we have the green fences over there, back there. You see them? Hitting the Sunshine Fleco. What do you say that one was called? Three, three Beacon Fleco? Yeah, I think, believe so, yeah. And some Royal Flecos. Nightfish. Albino. Silver Arrows. 
I think we have three left, one is sold. Some small adenoids. These guys are really neat as well. I want to find out what they are and I'll put it at the description of the video, but these are really cool fish. Over here we have some bigger detonoids. They're still acclimating to the tank, so the colors are still not perfect. And then over here, you got the pom-pom knife fish and some bigger albino clowns. Now this guy is pretty cool. It's the first time I've seen one like that. It's a short body Asian red tail. Look, you can call, you can see the red, the red tail from this angle. Oh, there we go. See it? Yeah. Pretty cool, right? I never saw that before. We also have a couple of uh, hybrids, tiger shovel nose. A couple red tails. You can see that guy just ate. Can you zoom in on him? That's a bigger one back here. Look. Indian tiger shovel nose, pretty cool fish. Some Asian red tails back there, a little bit bigger. These are pretty cool catfish too. I believe they get pretty decent size. Platinum red tail. Intermediate peacocks and also Larry peacocks. Intermediate are the bigger ones. And a bigger catfish back there. That's a couple of fish from catfish. Kind of look like a pure Eva. Some hybrids. The black cars. Almost all the black cars are sold out. Might have one left. A couple more Asian red tails. But there's one thing that we forgot to show, and I've been thinking about keeping them in a big tank. So why don't we do that now? We're already filming it. Why don't you just go ahead and take them and put them in a big tank? This guy.
www.playboytrans.com and I'll put it in the description below. And uh, if you have any questions, let us know.